What would you do if you were labeled the devil's child in an orphanage and repeatedly rejected by adoptive parents because of your appearance? Keep watching if you want to know, how did Michaela Deprince overcome these challenges and turn her life into a success story? She was born on January 6, 1995, in Sierra Leone into a Muslim family. They gave her the name Nabinti Bangura. Yet, the country was in the midst of a civil war when she was born. She tragically lost both of her parents quite quickly. Her mother passed away at a very early age from illness and starvation, while her father was killed in the war. After her parents passed away, she was already an orphan. She moved live with her uncle, who later put her up for adoption because he saw her as a burden. The orphanage's social workers were abusive to Felina. They labelled her 27, which meant she was the least adored youngster in the orphanage. This was due to her appearance. She suffered from vitiligo, a skin disorder that caused depigmentation on her neck and face. Due to her unusual appearance, Felina had a hard time at the orphanage. The staff called her names like the devil's child and treated her poorly. She didn't receive proper care or attention and was often left hungry. On top of that, they believed she was unappealing and unlikely to be adopted. Sadly, she had no other options and had to endure a difficult childhood in these terrible conditions. She was lucky to find comfort in a fellow orphan, a black girl who shared the same name as hers, Mabinti. Despite being harassed by other children and staff, the two girls became close friends and enjoyed each other's company. They played, ate, and attended school together. One day, while sitting outside their home, something remarkable happened. Mabinti was hit by an old dance magazine that blew into her face due to a gust of wind. The magazine's cover had a photo of a beautiful ballerina standing on her tiptoes in a pink tutu. Mebinti felt happy looking at it and realized that she wanted to become a ballerina when she grew up. She kept the magazine cover hidden in her underwear and it became her dream to pursue. In 1999, a woman named Helene de Prince decided to adopt children from Africa. She wanted to provide love and care to children in need. Helene and her husband Charles planned to adopt Mabinti, the friend of Michaela from the orphanage, but something unexpected happened before they went to Sierra Leone to adopt her. One day, while the woman was resting at home, she received a call from the adoption agency. They asked her which Mabinti she was because there were two of them. This confused her, so she asked for more information. The agency told her that the other Mabinti, who was number 27, had a skin condition called vitiligo. Unfortunately, 12 families had rejected her because of this. When the civil rights activist discovered that, she felt sad, but she didn't waste any time and decided that she would adopt both of them. She didn't think that having spots on her skin was a problem. She quickly called her husband, who was away on a business trip, to share the wonderful news that they were going to adopt another girl. Finally, it was time to bring the African girls home. On a weekend, the woman went to an orphanage in Sierra Leone. When she got there, she noticed that Mabinti No. 27 didn't believe that anyone would adopt her. Eileen remembered the first time she saw Mabinti No. 27. She was so sad and looked very skinny. She was standing alone in a corner with her arms crossed. Eileen felt very emotional and almost cried. She went up to her, held her hands, and said that she was her new mother. Mabinti was so surprised and started crying because she couldn't believe that someone wanted to adopt her. The woman brought both Mabinti girls to the US and renamed them Mia and Michaela de Prince to avoid any confusion. Michaela's life was greatly improved after being adopted by her new parents. They provided her with the love and care she had never received before. Even though Michaela still feared rejection at times, she was now surrounded by love and received the best possible care from her new family. One evening after dinner, Michaela showed her new mom a magazine cover that she loved. She pointed to the ballerina on the cover and said that she wanted to wear pointy shoes just like her. 
Her mom was happy to hear her wish and promised her that she too would dance one day. And she kept her promise. A few weeks later, Michaela and her sister Mia were enrolled in classical dance classes. Michaela had always dreamed of becoming a ballerina, so she worked hard in her lessons. She practiced a lot and got better every day. Her friend helped her by adjusting her costumes to fit her skin color. Michaela was still worried about how her skin looked, but she was determined to prove herself to those who didn't believe in her. Finally, the day of her first big performance had come. Michaela hurried over to her adoptive mother in the audience after getting dressed. She asked her mother if she could see some marks on her body because she was concerned about them. Her mom reassured her, saying that she couldn't really see the marks and that they looked like magical fairy dust instead. Michaela was happy to hear her mom's reassuring words and said, that's great. Now I can be a professional ballerina. Thankfully, Michaela did really well during her performance that day. As time went by, she became more comfortable with her body. When she was just 17 years old, she became the youngest ballerina to perform at the Apollo Theatre in Harlem, New York. A year later, she was invited to join the prestigious Dort National Ballet. Even though she was still a teenager, Michaela learned to take care of herself. As time passed, she became a solo dancer. Michaela achieved her dream of becoming a highly ranked ballerina in the company at just 22 years old. She was so happy that her dream of becoming a professional ballerina had come true. But it wasn't easy. She had to work very hard. Even so, all the time and effort she put in was worth it. People from all over the world started to seek her out because she was so good. Michaela had so much success that she even appeared in music videos for famous singers like Madonna and Beyonce. She was amazed at how much wealth and power she had gained. Micah currently serves as an ambassador for World Child, an organization dedicated to improving the lives of children affected by violence and conflict in their communities. The young girl was deeply grateful for her adoptive mother's support and wanted to thank her. She would spend her free time traveling with her and buy her gifts, and sometimes they would even spend weeks together in other cities. On top of that, the young girl bought her adoptive mother a beautiful car as a surprise gift. Her adoptive mother was overjoyed to have such a loving daughter who showed her appreciation for all her help and encouragement. Did you like Michaela's story? Have you ever done something special to show your parents how much you appreciate their love for you? Share your thoughts in the comments below. Thank you for watching and stay tuned for more videos.